So, this is it? Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. And it stinks. <laughs> yeah. And your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up. They don't. Come on. <laughs> I'll show you around. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away forever. So now the brothers were alone and they had to find a new home. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. And then they worked together to learn how to use his power and to follow the rules for them. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick. So they had to move on. On the way, a deadly predator attacked them. But the little one destroyed it using his power. They decided to journey to the home of their nearby ancestors to seek help. Finally, the tired and hungry brothers made it to the home of their ancestors. The old wolves invited them to stay. They even took care of them. They were happy to have a safe, warm place to rest. The little wolf even made friends with a raccoon, and together they went on awesome adventures. Unfortunately, hunters were hot on their trail and found them. But the tiny raccoon helped the brothers escape and almost got hurt. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south to the distant homeland of their Papa Wolf. No way, you little shit. Daniel, get your ass over here now. <sighs> He's so busted. Shit. I can't wait for the show with the whole crew.
Man, Dad would fucking kill me if he found this. So he better not find it. I hope they don't expect me to remember all this when school starts. Lila keeps hooking me up with birthday gifts. She's more excited than I am. Need to put on the patch I bought last week. So much bullshit. But I got phone and party bills now. How did I get Lila to talk me into this shit? Looking... Ugh, kind of lame. Swipe left. Man, I suck at perspective. I should take a class. Scored it at the skate park last week. Now I need to sew it on. Dad thinks I'll stop skating if I get a car when I turn 16. Wrong. Of course. Like, I want to play fucking hide-and-seek. Hmm. Isn't Daniel too old for bedtime stories? Who would have thought playing Minecraft would get him back to his blocks? Got this for a girl in the eighth grade. But I chickened out. I used to play with these at Ellery's. Oh, man, I feel old. Gift from Lila. <laughs> Daniel never got so close to proposing to her. Man. My brother's a little player. Lila loves it. Ooh, Dad confiscated the play box after that. Daniel was a total rage ball. What is he making with all that crap? So lucky Noah lives downtown. Else they'd drive me crazy 24-7. Did this for Daniel's birthday. He was so happy with it. This thing is so cheap and ugly. I love it. Too bad we didn't have a clue she hated all of us. Maybe he's invisible now? Wish I had more time to play. Unless we're summer school. They're probably gonna bury me in this thing. Sucks to be Daniel. But he can't bug me all the time. I would have been pissed if I was there. Oh, asshole. Dad got in trouble for his last barbecue. Hope he does it again. So I can come this time. That is the kind of salad I like.
Whoa, hold on. <gasps> Let go! S stop it! Dude, I told <gasps> you to stay out of my room. Ow! That hurt! Yeah, I'm not fucking around anymore. <sighs> Got it? <sighs> Do you hear me, Daniel? You shall not enter your brother's room. Watch out, man. You started it, dickhead. What is this crap? Are you fighting again? You proud of yourself? Stop it! Enough! Getting tired of this. Sean, what happened? Now! Dad! I told him not to come so into my room. And, he never and listens. He hit me and broke the trophy. He's lying. He always does that when he gets busted. Little shit. Enough! You both better listen because I'm tired of this crap. Okay? This is my house too, not your playground. You hear me? Jeez. You guys are working my last nerve this week. You okay, mijo? I'm going to talk with your brother. You know the drill. Bedroom and no games. I didn't do anything. Uh-huh. Let's talk. Oh, now. This is so stupid. It's bullshit. OK. You really taught that book a lesson. You done? Hmm? Whatever. Like you're going to believe me. Daniel's always right. Look. Please? Listen, Sean. I can't do this on my own. I... I can't. I need you to help me. I know you don't want to babysit Daniel. You grow up. You need space. More freedom. I get it. But we're a trio now, and you gotta take some responsibility. That little shit is just a kid. You're almost an adult. I always look out for him, but I can't stop him from creeping around my room. Even you told him. He's just... spoiled. So were you. And you had eight years of being spoiled before you had to share toys with your little brother. I know it might sound cheesy, but we have to be good role models for him. He's a Diaz, right? Okay, I hear you. I'll try to be super bro. Just try to be there for him, like you are now. <laughs> Says mi hijo. I'm late for work. Go talk to your brother and work this drama out. We'll go to the movies tonight if you guys don't wreck the house. I know you love to hear this. But I'm proud of you. Both of you. Okay. Get back to work. Can I come in? It's the big, bad brother. No! Stay out! I said no! Get out! Whatever! I'm not listening! La 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 la! I come don't on, hear dude. anything! La la la! Whoa! Don't know who drew this, but. It's totally rad. Hey, Daniel. Why are you pouting? A young space warrior should never pout. We need to stand strong against the enemy. Come on, man. I'm running out of punchlines here. Leave me alone. 
No. You kept this guy. We got him from that creepy circus, remember? You wanted him so bad. Got him for you shooting at that freaking target. Yeah, right. Dad, aim the gun. So what? You still won. Because of me. Why are you still here? Hey. That's cool. Did you make it? Be careful. Whoa. It's fragile. No problem. Suddenly, you're Mr. Careful. <sighs> okay, if I sit down. So, when did you get this? Last month. Dad said I should learn to do stuff by myself, since you're not around as much. Hey, come on. It's not like I'm leaving home. You might as well. I never see you. We don't even play games anymore. We don't do anything. Daniel, I just... I want to hang out with my friends sometimes. You're going to be doing the same thing in a couple of years. Hi. I don't want to grow up. It's boring. Here. Sorry I took it. That's what you wanted? That stupid watch? You said you'd get me one. At the thrift store last week. But you forgot. Like before. Well, you better keep this watch then. Sean, this is so cool. I'll keep it forever and ever. Man, Beaver Creek feels so far away. Hmm. 
Yep. I'm a real man now. Kind of. Still can't believe we ran into the guys again. Talk about fucking fate. Another month, and we'll be hooked up for Mexico. Daniel keeps reading it, again and again. I told him not to count on her. He won't listen. Hmm. Guess he doesn't care about it anymore. <sighs> he doesn't talk about it, but... I know Daniel really misses Chris. Hey, bedhead. Had a good sleep? Oh. Hi, uh... Yeah, I, I did. Thanks. Nice. Okay. I better hit the shower before they use all the water. Right. See you around. Hey, Sean. Breakfast time. That girl is even more of a sleepyhead than I am. Gotta have backup signs. Jeez. She's way messier than me. It's hard to believe. I do love these trees. Ancient and majestic. Did you see all that fog earlier? Creeps me out. I don't know what's inside. It's nice to sit here together at night. The sun has saved us. Like we're a part of something. Never seen a dog so chilled. Doesn't care about anything. Yeah. Like you don't get pet enough around here. Man, crushing hard today. <laughs> yeah, Anders smoked too much again. I'll get him up before Big Joe gets here. Good. I want you to start the day with that asshole yelling. These trees are just so gorgeous. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Time to take the pen, dude. <sighs> okay. Got it. Yep. I'm up for some heavy barrel lifting tonight. Yay. 
coffee time shine. Man, grab some and sit your ass down. Most of them are into fancy hippie food. And fast food junk. Shoot, what's the date These today? guys have top gear. Yeah, 15th or 16th. Wish I did. What's up, Jake? Hey, Sean. Not much. What do you got going on there? Uh, this is a birthday card for my little sister. <sighs> Don't laugh. Aw, that's cute. Where is she? Oh, uh, she's with my parents, of course. I, where else would a nine-year-old live? Oh, shoot, I mean... I didn't mean Daniel. I'm kind of jealous you get to hang out with your brother all the time. But I, I bet it's hard to be his brother and father figure. Yeah. I do miss being on my own sometimes. You know, privacy, stuff like that. Really? I hate being alone. Guess I'm used to having people around. Hey, since you're such a pro big bro, what's a good way to end this letter? Goodbye sounds a bit lame, right? Well, what is she into? Like anime or video games? Uh, puppies? <laughs> she has a pet chicken named Alexander. <laughs> Sarah loves that thing, but it creeps me out. <laughs> <laughs> Why not draw a creepy portrait of Alexander? Good idea. It'll match my <laughs> chicken scratch perfectly. Anyway, thanks for your help, Sean. I gotta finish this before I get ready for work. Don't want to be late or Big Joe will eat me for lunch. You and me both. See you later, Jake. Sean, thanks again, man. My turn. Gotta stock up the shower and kitchen later tonight. Wish it rained more. Nice to get fresh free water. Ah, man. I would have killed for something like this back in that freezing house in Oregon. We went swimming there a couple of times. Fucking cold, but fucking awesome. So many missing persons around here. Creepy. We shower like once or twice a week. Gives us more time to chill, right? <laughs> Living large and humbled. Must have coffee. I heard nothing, Penny. Mm, maybe it was the coffee brewing. Never mind. You can't hear? Only me. I don't understand. Why? How you miss all those insects? How the fuck? The swarm is coming. Wait, do you mean cops? Like, coming to bust us? Sean, the motherfuckers is gonna shut down all the farms. Make room for Big Pharma. You'll see. No way Big Boss can pay them off. It ain't gonna happen. That would be shit for me and Anders to lose the job. The cash is good for us to travel. Same here. 
Plus, this was a steady gig. Don't want to hit the road yet. Daniel won't either. Don't puss out if the narc show. Meryl takes care of his peeps. Yeah, he's a major dick. But fair, he always puts us to work every season. Some of us need this shit job. Not the tourists here. Cush gig. But not when they legalize that shit. Then you can work legal on the farm, right? Not if the government steps in. Then the pigs, pill pushers, all bad. Well, at least they can't just screw over workers, like here. What? That means people like you and me will be fucked. No paperwork, no job. Truth. I hear ya. Oh, um, did anybody see Daniel? I haven't seen him this morning. I saw him walking with Finn. They were headed to the lake. Thanks, Ingrid. I better see what he's up to. Tell him no swimming. That lake is toxic, man. Nasty. I keep thinking you're Dutch. <laughs> because we, uh, I think you forgot something, Sean. You gonna make some more coffee, right? So good at this. What the fuck, man? You're awesome. Come on, once again. Yes, I'm the man. <laughs> Holy shit! That was dope! What's up, guys? Morning target practice? Six bullseyes in a row. Kid is a fucking ninja! Hey, we didn't want to wake your sleepy ass up. Yeah, thank you for that. You okay, Daniel? Hey. Seriously, I've never seen anyone throw like that. Wow, Finn trained you well. Six bull-sized dude? Yeah, I got better. Lucky. You can't throw a baseball without hitting me in the nuts. How did you learn to aim so good? Not true, liar. You're the one who sucks at baseball. Yeah, right. Hey, wow. What's up with you two? I should have let you know, but, but I'm watching him like a hawk. Seriously, much respect. He's like my own blood. And not that I'm as hot or cool as his big bro. Yo, Sean. Idea. I want to see if Daniel inherited the family blade skills from you. How about a little demo? It was my turn. Come on. Let's give the man a chance. Okay. Yeah. I'll take a shot. Between the fucking eyes. Damn. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Did you guys escape from some circus? Mm. That was just luck. Seriously, that shit was off the chain. One time is luck. Second time is skill. So let's see. Oh, fuck that! <laughs> Miss, see, I rule. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. You're not a ninja. But you're still cool. Just ask your brother for help next time. <laughs> yeah. What would I do without him? Hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault if you can't throw. Woo! After that workout, I need some more fucking Java. Wait! Don't go yet? Uh... It's all good, Daniel. We can practice later. Yeah, if it's cool with <laughs> Big Brother. <laughs> Love you, man. What now? You think that shit is funny? What shit? Stop acting stupid. You're pushing it, Daniel. You made me miss in front of Finn. What if he finds out, huh? What then? I'm not stupid. 
He won't find out. You don't know that. You're gonna get busted, Inano. You need to listen to me. Stop calling me that. I'm not a kid anymore. Daniel, don't... Why? See? Stop, Daniel. Now. Or what? I said stop, Daniel. Don't grab me! Uh. Uh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be that hard. I'm okay. It's fine. I told you. You're good. But you don't have control over your powers yet. Yeah, but we stopped training since we got here. You'd rather hang out with your new friends. Well, because we need to fit in if we want to keep that job, okay? But you're right. Let's, um, do some training later today. Cool? Yeah. Let's go by the lake again. But, Sean, how long are we gonna stay here? It's been like a month. I know, but we need more money to get to Puerto Lobos, remember? It's gonna take forever. We should try and find Mom, since we have her letter now. We already had this conversation. Sorry, Daniel, but we can't. We don't even know where Karen really is. And we can't risk getting caught while looking for her. She's one of the reasons we're out here. That's why we're going down to Mexico. How come I never get to choose? I'm the one with the power. I hear you. It's not fair, but you're my brother. And my responsibility. I have to take care of you. I know, but I'm not gonna be a kid forever. Finn treats me like an adult. He understands. Uh-oh. Big Joe. Hey, you don't wear your watch anymore? What? Oh. Nah, I put this on instead. Finn gave it to me. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, pretty cool. Hey, Daniel, remember what I said. Low profile. <sighs> yeah. Okay, we're cool. I don't like working on a farm. I know, it could be way worse. We're making cash, you know. Okay, okay. Wish we could send Chris a present or something. Or maybe just check on him. We will, Daniel, when we're safe and far away. I know. I had fun playing hiding seek last night, especially in the dark. You weren't scared at all? <laughs> Come on. Not with Finn. We had the best hiding spot. Sit here, my man. I need a bodyguard like you. Cool. Tell Sean to get me a knife. <laughs> Mind if I sit here? Sure. <laughs> Why so serious? Uh. Nothing. Just thinking. Cool. I'm always worried about my city boy. Everyone here? This isn't a fucking school bus. We're late.
Hey, little man. So at this you point, I'm like, whatever, dude, night. just Bye. give me more booze, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I don't bullshit you. Some gutter punk jumps. You're not costume. listening to anything I say. So I cut it. Down. Are you? Yeah. What? Jeez, yes, I am. Cut me too. The party. Oh shit. Too much monkey. sex, guys. Are you okay? Too much sex. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I was two peas in a pod. These ones. I'll show you the battle scar. Oh, it was so high last night. Hey, Sean, jealous. Cool. Nah. I Just you, keeping you an eye out, with that, you know? Though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Big brother watching. Hey, who's the night That's master cute. here? On death, did you lock the tent? You want to see stuff for shooting in that even? So, Wrong. how do you feel? You went back for the lighter. Who knew this little tree market snowflake would end up here? <laughs> with us misfits. Oh, good. Just hope I won't turn into a dirty hippie if I hang around too long. You better stop talking to me then. I'm the most contagious. <laughs> don't hurt. Too late. Guess I'll take a chance. Hey, I'm gonna shut the fuck up back there. I can't hear my music. Guess what? He was on his secret sat phone again this morning. Speaking Romanian and shit. Oh no. Here it comes. He's Agent 420. And he has a license to cook. <laughs> um, what's that? Told you a thousand times, Big Joe is a clone. They come from a factory in Silicon Valley. <laughs> Maybe he's just the factory reject. He's just a goon, guys. Bet he worked for some gang. Must have done something bad to end up here. Duh. Boring. <laughs> yeah, boring. Shit, you're all in love with Big Joe. You can't stop talking about him, I swear. But his ass is too big. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Come on. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, yep. nobody else saw him. <laughs> He's kind of a mystery. <laughs> hey, pipe down back there. Enjoy the scenery for a change, for fuck's sake. Fucking tired. Stop your bitching or get out of here. Hey! Jeez. Hey, come on. That's not cool. Uh, are you really shit talking me, Cheech? <laughs> huh? Forget it, Sean. Seriously. We're late. Hey, you're gonna get us kicked out of here. Well, I just wanted to. What? Be a white knight? I can take care of myself, Sean. Bro, that guy would have beat you down. Oh, thanks for coming. <laughs> I'm not your way, right? Uh, no, no, we're sorry. We, we just... You don't get paid to be late. Next time you won't be. <laughs> Listen up. I need two teams today. Finn, Penny, 
Anders, and what's your name will clean up the mess from the storm. Yeah. The rest of you get to sit and trim. <sighs> like I want to go pick up a bunch of shit all over the camp. Hey, you want to trade places? Shut up, Daniel. You got a deal, kid. Yeah! I get to go outside. Hey! You guys still don't get it. This is work, not a goddamn summer camp. You're not special. There are dozens of hippies like yourselves begging for work at the next town. Kid, your dad should teach you to shut your mouth. Finn, you better watch your guys. Of course, boss. No problem. Okay, so move it. Yeah, you heard the man. Stop fucking around and get in your teams, all right? Hold up. You and me are gonna talk. Remember, I'm only letting you and your brother work here because Finn put in a good word. I know. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. No ass kissing, please. Just watch out. Next time your brother fucks up, you're both gone ASAP. Look, I'm not trying to bust your balls, but this is a pot farm and he's a fucking kid. You hear me? Got it. I'll keep him out of the way. You better. This business has enough shit already. What kind of shit? Jesus, what is this, an interrogation? Oh, uh, no. I'm sorry. Okay, time's up. Get the fuck out of here. You got a lot of work to do today. All right. Uh, thank you. Okay. Now for the fun part. I need this all done by tonight. No excuses. So, get on it. All right, we good? Eh, Finn is playing boss with his crew. I told him they'd all work late if they didn't finish on time. I hope so. Okay, I gotta make some calls. Well, what are you waiting for? You know the drill. What? Dude, this sucks ass. I feel like I'm in prison. I hear you, but we're not. This is just our job, man. We have to follow Meryl's rules. For now. Especially you. What do you mean? He's not into having kids around here. So don't give him any excuse to get pissed off. Yeah, you never know with Meryl. He can be cool, but scary when he loses his shit. Okay, jeez. Not doing anything bad. Look, I know you guys are having the time of your life here, but I'm not. So shut your mouth and give me some quiet for fuck's sake, okay? Well, why do you stick around then? None of your damn business. <sighs> but I'd be long gone if I had the chance. Trust me. All right, man. Just pick a bud and get to it. Oh, this is nothing. Last spring, we were trimming about two or three pounds a day. Whoa! That's a lot. Yep. Had to work overnight all the time. 15 hours straight once. Yeah, trying to forget. I was done with Kush after that. <laughs> Whoa. We are lucky. 
Right, and then your arms fall off. Fuck all that. <sighs> you got any reception, Big Joe? This place is a cell killer. Oh, of course. I should clean my scissors. They're a mess. Ouch! Mm. Shit! Mm. Ooh, you okay, sweetie? Mm. It's okay. You're doing fine. Just slow down if you need to. I know. I will. Mm -hmm. Thanks, John. Mm -hmm. mm, my ass hurts. Fuck, this is really boring. Oh, poor baby. That's the job. Don't think, just work. Okay, just don't ask me to smile for the camera all day long. I don't know. We get paid to give haircuts to marijuana. It's kinda cool. Yeah, I'd rather do this all day than be in a stupid classroom. Daniel. You still have to learn stuff. I had to go to school. Yep. You fight like brothers. So cute. <sighs> Damn, Sean. We really need to do something about your hair. What? What? What's wrong with my hair? Are you kidding me? It's hiding your pretty face. I can't allow that. Come on. It's not that bad. Just... Just a mess. Yes. But worry not. Yeah. We've got everything to take care of it at the camp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll see. Going too fast. Take your time, dude. But for real, okay. though, if you could snap your fingers and go anywhere. Cassidy, we get it. Over and over. Hey, come on. You don't want to be here. Give me a break. I can't. So what? So I'm allowed to dream a little? You won't get hurt. <laughs> Promise. What about Louisiana? Must be so sweet this time of year. Jesus. Okay, man. <laughs> come on. Dream big. I'd like to see the pyramids, or the top of Mount Fuji. Sean Diaz, global traveler. Yeah, stuck What's in this? Humboldt. No. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Nobody's yeah. making you babies work here. No problem. You guys are all the same. Cool, let's be trimigrants. Then you barely work for a month. This is Joey, my life. Come here for a sec. <sighs> Shit, it's always something. Damn. Can you folks put a lid on it? We got shit to do here. Whoa, whoa. Damn. Easy for you to say, cowgirl. Some of us have to work. Please. I bust my ass like everybody else. Uh-huh. Don't even. You're always looking for an excuse. Ooh, it's 420. Hey, Sean, let's talk. Ow, my arm hurts. Wah, wah. Get off my crack, Ugh. Hannah. We've been stuck out here for two months. I didn't come out to California to live on a fucking farm. I want to see some water. Are we going to squat out here forever? Build a house? What? Stop! 
You know we voted to stay for a while. Once it's legal, Just we ain't got no more job here. How's it going? They as always. They want everything by tomorrow. Friday? How are we supposed to... I'm just over this place. Then go! <sighs> Take the fuck off. If we're a family, we stick together. You're on the bus, or off the bus. Hey! Uh. She just needs freedom, dude. <clears throat> exactly. Thank you, darling. Just grow up, Cassidy. Stop acting like a princess. Thanks, Mom. Uh. Anything else? Yeah. But we don't have the time. Did you fall out of the wrong side of the tent or what? That's not Shit. my problem, Joseph. You're clueless. You know the drill. Do your work. Yeah. Sure. Fuck this shit. Hannah, sorry. I know. Hey, I don't want to fight. It's been a long, crappy week. Just keep it fucking down in here, okay? <laughs> 